Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Thursday, August 25th, 2016, and a series of unprecedented events have just transpired, and I want to respond. This isn't going to be highly produced. Uh, if you tuned in earlier, we uh, shot our live show, uh, which lasted for about an hour. Uh, the stream went down. Uh, we are post-producing that now. It'll be back up, I would say, in the next few hours. Uh, recut. It's a very, very important broadcast. I think that uh, Julian Assange, in my humble opinion, may have what it takes in terms of uh, dumping a new leak and more emails that could potentially bring down Hillary Rodham Clinton for good, which is exactly what brings me to this video. An unprecedented day for alternative media, uh, and it's been a long time coming. Hillary Clinton actually names Alex Jones by name. They don't say that guy from Texas or that, you know, she does call him a conspiracy theorist. They insinuate that along with uh, media organizations like Breitbart and uh, Infowars and, of course, alternative media television where you're tuning in right now. Now, I warned about this uh, last week because I know the playbook as well as many of you know the playbook. And when Stephen Bannon was announced, the former head of Breitbart News to play a key role, really become the CEO, uh, the chief executive of Trump's campaign, Inc. I knew that the only rabbit that they could pull out of a hat and the only thing in Hillary Clinton's and her campaign and administration's playbook was to do one thing, demonize alternative media, demonize Infowars, demonize Alex Jones, as she did today, again, absolutely unprecedented. I'm sure Alex Jones appreciates the uh, free advertising, although this is also a very dangerous, dangerous time for alternative media. So we knew the playbook. I talked about this in a series of videos. That that's what they were going to do. That's how they were going to launch an attack. Uh, and the only thing that they can do is demonize the liberty movement itself, which is not conspiracy theory, isn't linked to the KKK, isn't white nationalism. Uh, or any of the, these things, but has everything to do with freedom, liberty, and light, and truth, and you know, shining goodness to the world. But Hillary Clinton and her campaign and establishment politics and the establishment media is losing so bad right now. And we are getting so loud that they can't ignore us anymore. And so Hillary Clinton names Alex Jones by name, and this is a critical, pivotal moment uh, for alternative media in general. All of us, I don't care what you think about Alex Jones, what you necessarily care about me, what you think about Breitbart, any of the other you know, alternative media organizations, we're all in this together. And this is a time that we all need to come together. I'm gonna tell you something that no one else has mentioned yet, and you heard it here first. And get this video out to our friends. Get, get it out to Infowars, get it out to Breitbart, et cetera. Get it out uh, to independent media, which is being demonized. Why is Hillary Clinton's campaign, why is the mainstream media referring to independent media and alternative media, Infowars, etc., as this? Alt-right. Alt-right. Hmm, interesting. In fact, a uh, Breitbart journalist was on the ground in Reno, where Hillary gave her speech, and many of the people had never heard the term before. So why would they put that term into the American pop culture lexicon? I'm not sure, maybe, maybe some of you know where I'm going with this, but what does it sound like? I haven't heard anyone talk about this. You're hearing it here first on AMTV. Get this put out everywhere. What does the alt-right sound like? Sound like alt-right, alt-right, Third Reich? Third Reich? Wait a minute. Alt-right? Third Reich? Alt-right? Third Reich? There's a reason for this. There's a reason they've come up with this terminology. They're putting this into the lexicon of pop culture, and they're, they're calling it. They're not calling it alternative media. They're not calling it independent media. They're not calling it liberty media. They're calling it alt-right. Why? And they're linking people like Alex Jones and Donald Trump to the KKK, for example. They're calling it alt-right because it sounds very much subtext here, like Third Reich. They're equating this to, you know, as Hillary has 
suggested Vladimir Putin, for example, she said is, is Hitler. That's what she said about him. She's saying the same thing about you. You see, this isn't just an attack on Alex Jones or alternative media or, uh, you know, uh, the news giants in our community, Breitbart, etc. This is an attack on you. Now, there's some positivity here, too, because we're getting so loud that the movement can't be ignored. Donald Trump, his campaign is getting so loud, and more importantly, the media is getting so loud that Hillary Rodham Clinton is literally having to mention people like Alex Jones by name. But this is just the beginning, and it's a very dangerous time because this is just the start of the attack. Again, Hillary Rodham Clinton, if you watched my show earlier today, which will be reposted, is very likely, I mean, she might not make it, she might be taken out quite literally by this data dump coming from Julian Assange and WikiLeaks in the coming hours. It could be in the coming days, it might be in a week, but it could be in the coming hours. He's warned about this. Before the presidential debate uh, coming up in the not too distant future in September, they have very little options. The American people no longer trust the mainstream media. It's at an all time low. Donald Trump appears like he might actually win. So people like Hillary Clinton are desperate. They're going to continue this campaign of demonization. They are going directly after the internet, another topic we probably haven't talked enough about. Uh, this is being propelled forward by Barack Obama. They're going to do everything in their power to shut us down, not just me, but bigger targets were a lot smaller than a lot of these guys, but they're going to go directly after InfoWars like they did today. They're going to go directly after Breitbart. They're going to go directly after alternative media television. They have no options left. So all of this, very predictable. We talked about it before it even happened here. Now it's happening in real time. This is her policy response. This was her policy speech in Reno, Nevada. They are likening alternative media and independent media to the Third Reich for a reason. They're playing semantics. There's a reason why they call, they call they didn't call it independent media. They didn't call it alternative media. They called it alt-right because again, it's sub subtext. People think third Reich in their mind when they hear alt-right. It's, it's a term they've never heard about before. And again, none of this is an accident. Just like Hillary Clinton's, you know, campaign logo, which looks like the two twin towers and then moving forward with the arrow, that's not an accident either. They think all of this through long, long in advance. This is very scary and dangerous because they're really positioning liberty in a negative light. And it actually shows you just how dangerous these people are. They're attacking free speech. They're demonizing independent alternative media. They're linking it to the KKK, white nationalism, hate speech. When that's nothing, and I'll say it if no one else is saying it, and I'm, I'm sure they are, but. What we do here has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with truth, love, liberty, and light. And they're positioning it in such a negative way and in such a dangerous way. I guess what I'm saying is I'm pretty concerned. I'm, I'm pretty concerned about it. You know, talking with some friends and family, you know, watching all this go down today. And again, I could see it coming a mile away. We'll probably recut some of the other footage uh, of me talking about this before it happened, just so you know, you guys know. Again, this was predictable. This we could see it coming. I mean, I know the Hillary Clinton playbook better than she does. You know, it's just amazing that somebody as criminal as her, somebody as evil as her, somebody who continues to break the law time and time again, lie to the American people, will have no charges brought against her won't be prosecuted. James Comey, director of the FBI, says so she didn't have intent. So even though she broke the law and people have died as a result, which makes up the Benghazi Gate scandal and the trafficking of guns, the murder of Muammar Gaddafi from Libya into Syria, the deaths of almost 500,000 innocent civilians, men, women, and, and children in this part of the world, she can commit these heinous, tragic, hideous, evil, and satanic acts. Now, what does she do? Does she go down in a ball of flames? No. You know what she does? She attacks the truth seekers. She attacks you. She attacks Julian Assange. She attacks Edward Snowden. You know, these people are truth tellers. These people are heroes. Alternative media, media is shining light on this evil. We are seeing so much division 
and anger in this country right now, that the country is a byproduct of this, is literally splitting. And this is no joke. Again, I'm very serious about this. I'm, I find it to be quite scary, actually. The country is dividing. It is splitting. And again, they are going after key ingredients of our Constitution right now. And who knows how much longer we have to tell and speak the truth or shine a light on this criminal activity and these criminal politicians and banksters, for example. Our First Amendment, our right to free speech, our right to give an opinion, the right to say things that people might not like, to the right, even though I may disagree with it, to burn an American flag, all of that is under attack right now. Hillary Clinton and her campaign, her potential administration, and God help us, I think she wins, and I hope that I'm wrong because I don't believe this election is a real election. I believe it's a selection. I believe it's rigged is on a war path right now. Not just in the Middle East, and again, remember, she was a Secretary of State continuing all these George W. Bush wars, but she is on, on a war path here in the USA. You know who should be likened to Hitler right now in the Third Reich? And sometimes I think Hitler gets a bad rap because the victor writes the history and rewrites it, essentially. It shouldn't be the alternative media. I think you know, you're smart enough to understand this, who the quote-unquote fascist really is, who the criminal really is. We are kind of dancing on eggshells right now. I really think that Julian Assange might bring her down. Might be wrong about it, might be wishful thinking. Again, there's been so many criminal acts that have been put out into the public sphere. I mean, look at the DNC and that leak and the stepping down of Debbie Wasserman Schultz and, you know, five other people with resignations as a result of that. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I actually think Julian Assange is sitting on a ticking freaking time bomb and he's going to dump it. It's why I think Hillary's grasping at straws and there is so much desperation that they literally can't even ignore people like Alex Jones or myself anymore. I want to ask all of you to share this video, share it to our partners in alternative media, and please support all of us because we're going to need it. Uh, there is strength in numbers, and because we are all, including yourselves, under attack, we need to come together. You know, whatever, whatever petty differences there are with, you know, different independent media outlets, and you know they exist, and to be honest, I don't understand why they exist, but we need to come together as a single unit. There's strength in numbers right now. The same thing we're seeing on the ground with Donald Trump's supporters. And the poll showing here in Arizona, for example, where he's taken a substantial lead over Hillary. And as he travels the country, filling up stadiums and overflowing out of those stadiums. People don't trust the media anymore. They don't trust these politicians. In fact, another story that we haven't even talked about, which I haven't dug too deep into yet, which could be a fabrication and potentially could be a false flag type event. Angela Merkel, allegedly, uh, this is the accusation at least, that there was uh, somebody that potentially put a hit on her today. You know, kind of like the, uh, almost like a Franz Ferdinand moment. Very dangerous. Alt-right, they're trying to liken this to the Third Reich. This is no joke. I'll just emphasize again that we need to come together. I think we need to uh, pray for light and justice and goodness to prevail over these, what Bush would say, evildoers. But I'm serious about this. We all need to pray. We all need to get down on our knees. We need to thank God and we need to pray that light overcomes this darkness because we are staring darkness right in the face today. Thank you for your support. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. As always, you're watching AMTV, Alternative Media Television.